Hey guys, how's it going? Just give me a minute while I put my other glove on. It's been a while since you guys seen the Jennifer and the piglets, and I wanted to show you how big they're getting. It's a beautiful day. Today, I think it's minus 18 or something like that. It's not too cold, it's pretty good. It was minus 21 last night. It warmed up this morning a bit. Okay, first let's go see the piglets because I got a treat for them. So, nice and beautiful out. Snow everywhere. <laughs> Our house is all frozen up. They come out here this morning and all the water was frozen in the barn. So, we had to haul. Oh. We had to haul uh, water by hand. Well, we do anyhow. But... Hey guys, how you doing? Come on over here with this light. I brought a treat for you. Hey guys, hey. Hey, up we go. Here we go. Here's the chickens. Hey girls and guys, how's it going? Oh, here you are. Hey, how are you? Look how big they're getting, eh? Look at them nice and fat in the face. Look at right there, eh? I brought you guys a banana. Yeah, I brought you a banana. What's that? It's the camera. You're not camera shy, are you? No. See, look at that. Look how nice and big they're getting, eh? Yeah. Okay. They like bananas. Jennifer doesn't, but these two do. Uh, I just finished giving her... Uh, the asparagus ends. I made fried asparagus last night. Ah. So there we go. Let's hold on a second, folks. I'll put this down. Oh, here. Here, can you bite half of that off for me? Hey? Can you bite half of that off? There you go. So, oh, here you go. There's half for you. And you guys fight over it then. Look, your brother's going to get it. Get down in there. There you go. It's banana. Look at all the sugar. Oh, look at them going crazy now. Now they figured out what it was. Hey guys and girls, how you doing? Look how big our chickens are. Let's see, can we get some light in here? There we go. Look at how nice and big they are, hey? So, and they're all fed organic. Those are nice roosters and all the hens are down there. And... Yeah, there's the boss. Yeah. You tell him. You tell him, buddy. So how you guys doing, eh? Yeah, we had a weasel coming after them, and I went and snared him, and I got him. So, we, he's gone. We don't have to worry about that no more. Okay, let's go out and see Jennifer. They're gonna. They like that banana. And wait till you guys see Jennifer. She's huge now. You guys haven't seen her since spring. So she got real nice and big. Oh my god. Back in the middle up here. Don't worry too much about gates around here, Tid. Now because uh, she won't come out in the big in the deep drifts. Now I know. See, now I just walked through here not too long ago, and look at all my tracks are covered right up. So they drifted right in again. So she'll talk a lot. She's probably laying down. Hey Jennifer. How you doing, sweetie? How you doing, young lady? Yeah, look at the bed you made. Yeah. 
You're nice and warm. Are you? Yeah? Oh, yeah, I know. Hey? Now look how big she is, eh? And big. You gonna get up for us and show us? Yeah. Oh, you can't see that. That's water. Hey. Okay. Look how nice and big she got. Hey, girl. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that big yawn. Yeah. Did I wake you up? Were you having a nap or something? Yeah? Oh, okay. Oh, what are you doing? Are you making bubbles? Are you making bubbles? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, now you've seen her. And some of you might think, oh, she called in there, but hell no. That place out there is nice and warm. She got all that straw and hay. And she's getting extra treats because you feed them a little more, eh? Because it's cold. Well, maybe cold to you guys down in Arizona. <laughs> sure ain't to us. <coughs> That's another thing, too. It's like all y'all down south, man, you're, you get colds real easy because you're always warm and hot. And, you know, and here you get a change of temperature. You know, it's real nice working outside, working every day. You go home and you fall asleep. You don't have to sit there and take medication to get to sleep. You know, like <laughs> take an hour of cutting wood or something. Go f track down a deer. <laughs> so, so I hope you enjoyed this little video. Well, of a typical morning and well, now it's afternoon, but. This is something we do every day, twice a day, to take care of the animals. There we go. Like I said, we don't have to worry too much about gates. She's not going to come out in, the, in that deep snow. You know, she's nice and warm in that thing. That used to be a chicken coop. And then we move them out of there, put them in the silo, or not the silo, but the, the auger room for the grain to go up into the granary where you bag the grain and a weasel was coming in through the corner so uh killing some of the chickens right he wasn't getting them though he was trying to pull them through a hole and uh like they bleed to death right so put them in there with the pigs the weasel won't go in with the pigs and set a snare up there use history no more weasel Look at the hot lights coming out the house. Eh? Yeah, so, you know, I was thinking, you know, uh, we got these lights from the dollar store or halogen. They're pretty damn good, too. Uh, two triple A's go in them, or double A's, and the damn things run for three days. You know, so I was thinking I'm going to put a line up there in the summer and along there. Put a little solar panel chargeable batteries in them and as the ice comes down I'll run an extension line down the ice so at night all these icicles light up because these are all natural you know what I mean it's not like store bought you know what I mean so we're waiting for the we got a blower coming it's supposed to be coming today so we can do it the lane way So, Nova Scotia is that way, uh, United States is that way, because uh, right over there is Lake Huron, and down that way is Niagara Falls, and up that way would be, when you cross Lake Superior and crap, would be Timmins and stuff like that, and Sault Ste. Marie, well no, Sault Ste. Marie would be over that way, Timmins would be that way, 
Winnipeg over that way. So, here you go, typical Canadian day on the farm. Hope you enjoy it. And I'll see one before Christmas. Merry Christmas. Okay, so, but uh, I think Hanukkah and Christmas, I'll try and make a video. There's our gazebo. There's a video. Having uh, a lunch, a grilled cheese sandwich, I think, I believe I put on for the title. I'm not sure. But, uh, so, uh, later on, look for a video if you live here in the Toronto area or uh, southern Ontario or, not, or the Horseshoe area. Because uh, I'm starting a, a, what do you call it, um, a meat club. And you guys buy a piglet or a lamb. And I raise it for you and butcher it and send it to you and all you do is buy the feed and pay for the butcher you know what I mean so but uh, I know you guys in the city don't have a place to do all this and you see our pigs they're good pigs man and uh, one of our other sows went to market so she should be home pretty soon uh, so I'm gonna make a video showing you how much meat you get for the very little cost so like you're you're talking like uh, you buy a pig a year that's all you need you know what I mean or a lamb if you eat lamb and goat we'll raise that you know what I mean uh, a turkey you want a turkey I'll raise a turkey because I'm gonna do a tom for myself you know so and they just run free you know that's our bush back there so I'm gonna put uh, a little farm in there for uh, to make the animals more a little wilder kind of like like uh, down in uh, the mountains down south and Georgia and stuff like that or the Appalachians and all that they have uh, country pork and uh, pigs taste different that were ra are raised in the woods than raised on a farm and I like them when they're raised in the woods they almost got that wild boar taste to them you know so you can look for that video it's going to be uh, showing uh, me building the cabin and building the stalls and all that because I'm going to have some chickens out there and I'm going to stay out there all summer and then in the winter I'll because like look it's not that far to walk up here to do my chores and stuff and do some work on the farm and go back and stay with the animals right so and I know Sage she'll like it out there she hasn't been up she hasn't been out at all because if you see there's a lot of snow up on the roof and she don't like snow so she won't come out but she'll like being out in the woods and yeah, living out in the, the cabin because she can run around. She likes it when it's summertime. So, Okay, guys. Thanks a lot. And we shall see you.